and private sector partners to enhance communications, sharing of resources and information, and avoiding duplication of efforts in public safety and emergency response efforts in regards to crime and terrorism. Uh, he's been instrumental in developing the Northern California Regional Intelligence Center from a terrorism-directed intelligence center to an all-crimes, all-threats regional intelligence fusion center. And I can tell you from firsthand that we would not be able to do what we do in RDWAC without them, because they are our partners in the Bay Area. Uh, Deputy Director Sen is also the chairperson of California State Terrorism Threat Assessment Center Commanders Working Group and co-chairs the Western States Fusion Centers Directors Association. Deputy Director Mike Sen holds a bachelor's from, uh, in criminal justice from California State University, San Bernardino. And that is our very distinguished panel. Uh, I am very excited about seeing their presentations here today, and I know that you will all enjoy them very, very, well, very much. I'd like to make one or two quick announcements before we begin. Uh, first of all, most of you should have on your chair or next to your chair one of our uh, feedback forms. We truly do uh, encourage you to fill out our feedback forms uh, before you leave today, before you leave the uh, room this morning. Um, we take all of those feedback forms that are filled out, take them immediately and input them into our, our database, and we will be uh, reporting out to the, the general conference at the closing session uh, some of the things that were suggested for improvement, some of the things that you liked. Uh, we really do appreciate and, uh, and uh, value your feedback, so I encourage you to fill those out. Uh, secondly, please take some time to wander through the vendor area on the breaks. Uh, support our vendors. They've done a fantastic job of providing us with great environment here, and we really do uh, hope that you will support them. Um, and lastly, <coughs> oh, let's see, where was that last announcement? Oh, I'm sorry, no, that is it, okay, for this morning. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring up our first speaker, and that will be Eric Fox. And uh, throw this up on the screen. Sporting events, entertainment industry, Universal Studios, Disneyland, and 
some of this stuff once became unmanageable. So that led us to smart grant practices and finding various vendors that could help us sort through the mess. I'm going to bring out my partner, Deputy Jeff Chadwick. He's going to talk a little bit about the way we used to manage information, which led us to where we are today and how we do it. Good morning. As you can see here, there are several issues that you can see on the left side of this slide that we pretty much identify with. In the past, we relied on person to person relationships to get our information across or find out information from within your regional areas. You relied on telephones, email, whiteboards. The problem is, is, once you got the information, you, didn't, you probably didn't end up sharing it with anybody because you were taking care of your own business. So we're trying to find a way where we identify the need to bring everything together in what they're calling digital information conversions. Basically, some kind of shareable information system that once we obtain the information, we can share with everybody else and vice versa. As Scott was alluding to, when we started looking at some of the man-made threats that we had and nature-made threats that Los Angeles regional area has, we identified several areas that, that needed to be addressed, especially across multi-agency and multi-disciplines. We're in an all hazards environment now. You have law enforcement doing things they didn't do in the past. You have fire service doing things they didn't do in the past. You're coordinating public works efforts and public health agencies. So we need to find a way to communicate and collaborate with these people and then coordinate that response. So you are looking at two separate areas. You have your, uh, your tactical level, which is what we, what we do on the ground. And you have your strategic level, is how you're going to support the tactical level um, response. So um, basically we're set up an area command system that we can actually share amongst the region. And this is the connectivity concept right here. You can see what we're trying to do is actually connect all these disparate in, uh, entities together. We're sharing information back and forth. That way they can handle a particular part of their mission. We can handle ours. We can share information such as evac areas, affected areas, uh, things of that nature, which we'll kind of get to when we start getting to the tactical level of information sharing. So what is Helios? Helios is, a, is that concept that combines both tactical level planning and strategic level planning and sharing information in between. Scott will get, get into a little bit later, but we, what we've done is we've added an intel piece to emergency management that connects our fusion center into the, our shared firm's operations center for the first time. And what that literally does is we can actually get information, you know, personal information all the way from the field level personnel into the fusion center, get some uh, information flow going back and forth, and actually, actually get some good information down, back down to our field. The fusion center is also going to benefit because you're going to have a lot more access to information from the field that they didn't ever have before. <clears throat> what this also does, and, and they kind of alluded to in some of the other tracks, is that uh, they actually just put out some paper that uh, talks about uh, Fusion Center and, and emergency management actually information sharing. And believe it or not, we actually started developing this four years ago, and this falls right in line with what uh, they came out with specifically in Chapter 5 of that document, CGP uh, 502. What uh, Helios does is actually addresses a local, state, and federal information sharing. And uh, our hope is that we get to join uh, this network. So what does it do? It creates a common framework for storing and using and dispensing data. And uh, what that common framework is, we'll get into a little bit later, is a software system called EOS. It's web-based, it's open architecture, which means it's flexible. And you can see it from this slide here, is uh, LARCOP, which is our system, our tactical field, uh, command control system, and EOS, which is our strategic operational system, again, we're under one single concept, so we can actually enable that information. And right now, I'm going to bring up Sergeant Eric Fox, he's going to talk about what and that's a large area regional common operational picture that we use to manage our tactical field assets. Good morning, everybody. I don't know if I would just uh, say LARC, what LARCOP means. And basically, it allows us to coordinate secure, critical intelligence between our field units. Uh, it also allows our incident commanders to get real-time information at the time of the incident, all the way from a field incident commander all the way to the EOC level. And this is done by various ways. Uh, the LARCOP system on the Atari, the Atari system is actually the operating system for the LARCOP uh, community. And what it does, it has you know, many um, aspects of it, such as a mapping program, it's got logs, intel logs, uh, video logs, and that gives the incident commander, like I said, an instant uh, real-time situational awareness of that incident, whether it be a man-made wildfire or a terrorist act, they get real-time information. Uh, also, it allows us uh, to coordinate our response to incidents, whether it be uh, a, a wildfire, like I said,